be found by others, right? Like say, for example, Olga here and Philippe and uh, Marnie, right? So these are public profiles and some of the... Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about setting up your Click eCourse account. So no matter how you got it, whether you got it through a promotion, because uh, we do have a free one year right now with a certain promotion, or you got it by just registering, we're going to sh show you how to set up your account for success on Click eCourse. But first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So in case you're wondering, Click eCourse is a platform that lets you set up your own courses. You can sell them, you can have others sell them for you with affiliate plans that you set up. And there's a whole a lot of other things you can do with Click eCourse and we're going to get into that. But before we do that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at CIS469 because I will be sharing my screen and going through the steps that you need to do. And it'll be easier, obviously, to look at a screenshot. There's also going to be a blog post. So let's get right to it. Let me share my screen and show you what we're talking about. And there we go. Where's my there you go. All right, so you go to Click eCourse. If you go to clickecourse.com, do I have a link here for you? Click eCourse. Is this the one? There you go. Click eCourse.com. So that's the platform that lets you create your own courses, lets you set up a WordPress blog, lets you use a syndication engine to create content for all the platforms all the social platforms if you're anyways I can go in, I'm not going to get into all that but there's a whole lot of things there's also a, a news feed on there that lets you that's similar to what you'd see on Facebook or LinkedIn where there's posts and people can comment on things that kind of stuff and there's also groups and pages anyways it's a it's a full social media platform but the main reason for it is to have your own courses on here so if I go to courses for example you can see that the site has courses uh, on there and if somebody wanted to buy one of these courses they would uh, click on there's some that are free don't care we, we can actually put the pricing on here if we want just show price right here and I can see the prices of each of these different courses so if I wanted to buy one of these I could or the free ones I can add to my li library and that kind of stuff so there's a whole bunch of courses you can put your own course on here it'll show up in the newsfeed or you can even make it so that it's a private course it doesn't have to be public and you can give people access to it just with a link there's all sorts of different things you can do but you can host your courses here on this platform so how do you set up that account let's talk about setting up the account why would you set up the account well if you want to have a course on here you need to be able to have the you know the platform needs to know who owns that course right who to send the money to when people buy it who to send um and if you want to say you want to promote this course or this course or this course and you want to get some commissions out of it then you need an account to receive those commissions so that's what setting up your account is all about so what do you need to do to set up your account? Uh, different things I guess obviously it depends on what you want to do but if you're just gonna set up your account to be a, an affiliate percent, uh, possibly to create your own course you need to do a few things so number one uh, set up your password right set your password on the account now depending on how you got the account you might have gotten it as a promotion um, that we are giving away right now at 12 month by if you buy a certain thing that we're, we're promoting which is the active group users uh, the other thing is you might have just registered an account so say for example you go to Click eCourse and you want to register an account you just click on this register button right there and then you can just click on continue with Facebook which it'll load up in a second here 
uh doo -doo 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 -doo. there you go so you would say obviously you won't say my name in there say your name you can click on that that'll automatically create an account for you using your Facebook profile and your Facebook email otherwise you can click on use email and password right here and you can enter uh you know um, a user let's say we uh, have uh, what did we say this was mm -hmm, just a second so cis four six i'm just going to create an account here with a default password so if you did that like this this is what would happen you click on the register here and you're going to get an email sent to whatever email address you put in here and if we look at the emails we can see that if i reload this load it up you'll see that there's a new email saying that I got a new account so account activation right so you'll get an email like that and it'll just say you or someone else request an account you can click on this link right here to activate your account which we'll do right now and once you've activated your account you'll get a page like this which will say successfully activated your account and you'll have you'll have the uh let's load up here uh the page that you were on depending on what how you set it up so if I went to here and I um oh sorry if I click on the well I'm logged in now so if I click on the register on the courses page whenever I register my account it'll take me back to that page but if I was just on the about page it'll take me to a welcome page that'll look like this which is what you might be seeing when you uh, first activate your account right you might be seeing the welcome page which is basically just a page that says you know welcome and you were invited by whoever it was because by the way any of your friends could be inviting you on the site and one of the things is that if you're invited by somebody else chances are they have a public profile so if I go here to public profiles and you probably want to have a public profile as well the public profile basically puts you in the uh, list of all the people that are here um, so that you can be found by others right like say for example Olga here and Philippe and uh, Marnie right so these are public profiles and some of these are mine as well but these are public profiles where they have their names and pot potentially a bio right and they might have links to their other social media accounts like I have here and I have here and those that is one way for people to find you right if they're looking for you right they might look for you right here right by just doing this if they know your name they want to know your profile so that they can message you they can find you on Facebook or other things like that and that's kind of how that can work but before your profile is public you need to set it up and that's what what we're going to be talking about okay so setting up your account let's talk about what to do set up your password let's talk about the other things you need to do so set up your uh, profile picture and uh, so cover cover and bio right if you want to set that up you can set that up uh, number three is you might want to set up your social links whoops and you want to set up your affiliate uh, account what's a affiliate your affiliate commissions right you want to be able to receive commissions right so here's the thing so on click eCourse if you are not set up or you don't accept to be an affiliate in other words you don't like click the button because it's a it's a question of le uh, legalities right so we can't we have to have your uh, agreement to become an affiliate before we can send you any commissions right now if you were to promote something and somebody bought it and you weren't set up as an affiliate that those funds are still held for you for 30 days so you can still become an affiliate between that time uh just so you know so if you you know if you realize that somebody bought something and you never got a commission then you can always activate your affiliate program after that but here's how it works so if I go to the plans you can see right here that in the plans 
there are different commission levels and those are down here if I scroll all the way down I know there's a whole lot of stuff right there on the screen right it's pretty uh overwhelming but, but the idea is that the different plans have different uh different features see how the greens yes is yes 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 all the way down to here in this plan but this plan has these extra yeses this plan has these extra yeses these extra and these extra right so the obviously the more uh, the higher level plan has more features right but you can see right here the commission level your share commissions from selling others courses and your share commissions from referral membership payments you see the percentages are right here so it's you know 10 percent to 100 percent of the commission of courses so that means if a course is being sold for a thousand dollars and the commission is 50 percent which means 500 dollars you would get 100 percent of that 500 dollar on this plan but you would get 10 percent on this plan and that means that there's anyways I'm not going to go into the details of that but the point is that if you want the full commission you need to be on this plan but even then if you're not you can still get some commissions on the other plans right and the referral membership payments that's kind of the same thing you get up to 75 percent commission on their payments so if they're paying 50 bucks a month you're going to get 75 percent or let's make it easy if they're paying 100 bucks a month you're going to get 75 dollars out of that hundred dollars if you're on this plan but you're going to get 50 dollars if you're on this plan etc right so that's kind of how that works so that's but before you can get those commissions you need to set up your affiliate account before we talk about that let's talk about the other uh settings so first your password so how do you set your password up first when you register when I did just now you choose the password so you don't have to change it if you chose it this way but if you got the account through the offer right let's say you you got the account through uh this offer here let's see uh, let's just kind of show you how that works so if you got the account through here I think it'll uh there's a group active group users offer right now which will um which it depends right today as I'm recording this there's five days left of this offer but it basically you get all these platforms click ecourse active group user AI for um you know ridiculous price 197 right so if you get it through there you're going to get a different email with the different links like for example let's go back here you'll get an email for the different platforms but let's show you kind of this one so right here so this link here is for clever AI but it'll be the same thing you'll have a link like this which basically has your user and password which is a temporary uh, a link that will have a password that was set for you so how do you change the password well it's simple you go to your profile image right there you go to your security password right there and then you click that that takes you to the page that allows you to change your password uh, to a new password so the existing password you have to put it in there in my case I have created an account so I have an existing password but if you are going through the other way that this will be pre-filled for you and then you just put your new password right here you uh, put the same password there confirm it right and then you just click on the save button that'll change the password for you so you can have the password that you want a secure password or <laughs> instead of a password that was picked by the system right so that allows you to change your passwords now the first thing you want to change your password if you got the account created through <coughs> an automated process <coughs> all right so the next thing you want to do is set up your profile picture <laughs> sorry about that set up your profile picture and your cover and your bio all right so how do we do that again you go to your to the little icon at the top here which is your account menu and I don't know what that is maybe I'll fix it uh, hopefully I'll fix it before you get here but I just need to clear that out whoops completely and then uh, everything will load up okay so close this all right so you need to go to your about bio and cover right here so on this page once you're there you're going to notice that there's a there's a there's a 
profile picture right here there's a cover photo right here and then there's a place for a bio right so let's update the profile picture so this here you just click on update right here you click on choose file right there and then you go find a file that your one of your images that you want to use that has your profile picture I'm just going to go into my images right here down here someplace images right here and let's just go and choose a profile picture obviously you choose whatever you want but I'm just going to pick something that is going to be a little bit different from other stuff maybe under me here there let's just use this one there we go so that's my profile picture and then I click on upload new profile picture and that's it it'll upload it and it'll replace it up here right so that's your profile picture that's all you got to do and then over over here if I click on change cover for the cover photo right I click on change cover right there that lets me do the same thing again the same thing click on choose file right here and then you can choose a cover photo so let's put this one as a cover photo go like this and I'm going to say upload new cover photo now I have a new cover photo as you're going to show up right here and I can click on a reposition right there if I want to uh, organize it I can click on up and down right here you can see it's going up down right you can see in the background there so I click on save and there we go so I got my new cover photo with my new profile picture so now the bio is you know whatever you want to put as a bio right so testing the creation of click ecourse account there we go so I'm just going to put that like that I'm going to click on save and there we go we have the cover photo we have the profile picture and we have the bio set up now if I uh yeah so that's kind of what we need to do so now the next thing is we want to set up our social links right so our social links if you're online if you're building a business online well you're going to have a Facebook account you're going to have a LinkedIn account you're going to have a Twitter account well maybe not but maybe you do maybe you have those right so then what we do is we go to the social links you can click on your profile picture up here click on social links right there and that takes you to the social links page so we go there and on that page you'll notice that it says there are no social links which makes perfect sense I have no social links yet right so I'm going to click on add new social link and the default goes to Facebook you can click on any of these icons right to get um the particular um social network that you want to add like TikTok right here and Tumblr and Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook pages Facebook Click eCourse a blog BitCloud Alexa right so those are all the different kinds of things you can do for social links so all these different social links so let's uh let's set one up here let's set up my Facebook my Facebook is Newlix so that is just it you can see down here what URL it's going to create with this name that's there <coughs> so that's kind of how you do it right so you click on save and then I'm going to add another one I'm going to add a Instagram so my Instagram is this I'm just going to save it and then I can add another one like my Twitter maybe let's put uh, the Twitter is the same thing save that I can go and add say YouTube I have YouTube there we go I also have uh even have BitCloud let's put BitCloud and I have LinkedIn you know and I have a, I have others you know obviously you can have uh, you might have snapchat you might have pinterest you might have soundcloud um like like I said tiktok and this one here is for any website that you want this would be for your wordpress and like you know itunes if you have some of those right some uh, some blog posts uh, not blog posts but uh sorry podcasts right 
so let's just click on cancel right now and you can see we have all these right here so those are going to be visible whenever you access your account so now if I go back to my account just back to my about bio page right you're going to notice that I have a links down here now oh that means you know um what 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 should I say not links but I have uh icons for the different social networks so if I was to click on these it would take me to those to those actual uh profiles on those platforms right so you can actually see that now if you want to organize the order say you want your YouTube to be first or you want your you know Twitter to be last or that kind of thing so you can click on edit right here and we can actually change the order I want YouTube first I move YouTube up by clicking the little arrows in front of it I can move my Twitter to the bottom and maybe I put LinkedIn as second whoops I forget gotta go here there we go so let's say I want that that's how I want it now if I go back you'll notice that they're also organized that way in the in the about page and yeah so you see how they're now now YouTube's first LinkedIn's next and Twitter's last right so that's basically you just order it the way you want and that's kind of how you do that all right so now what is next what is the next thing your affiliate commissions how do you set up your affiliate commissions well like I said you have to accept to become an affiliate to start getting commission commissions or at least getting paid commissions right so what you do is you go down here you go to affiliate and then uh you will see that there's going to be some options in here it'll say a few things down the bottom if I scroll down here it'll say here that we have to do all this we've got to complete your profiles as listed below we got to read the terms we got to accept the terms uh, and then we have to enable the checkbox but that won't happen until we complete so here's what still needs to be completed we got these three things we need to do so we need to set a username so username above to something other than user x so that means it can't be user x in this case it's a test so I'm just going to call it cis469 and that's it can be Bob here or Frank or Jean-Serge Gagnon right whatever you want that's what you put there as the user name and we'll tell you what the username is for in a minute so display name is right now is empty right that is what people will see you as in there so I'm just going to say cis469 test right so I'm just going to call it that like that well obviously you want to put your name there or maybe a company name or something right then the last thing is you want to make the account public you want to set that to yes so right here make account public whoops you want to set this to yes now we save it and after we save it then the buttons and the check boxes are, will are, will appear down here right so it'll be request to be in the affiliate I want to check that I have read and agreed to the terms and rules obviously you want to click those to read them you click on yes and then you click on become affiliate now so when you do that now you're going to be an affiliate you're going to be able to receive commissions and there's even a link right here to check your referrals and commissions here so it even says right here when you accepted the rules and when you became an affiliate and if and it shows you where you can get your referrals if I click on this <laughs> it'll take me to the referrals page which is where you would see anybody that you referred to the platform and so right now there's none obviously right and if I I can also find them here right so down here there's going to be referrals right there can you see that and then commissions yeah commissions right here right so if I click on commissions again it'll show there's no commissions obviously because this is a brand new account but this is where you would see your commissions and it'll say before we pay your commissions you must set all these things but that's you don't need to worry about that in the beginning you know you know maybe you make a thousand dollars in the first week but maybe it'll take you six months so it's really up to you how much effort you put in but how do you get people in your like how do you get referrals right because somebody has to be a referral before they'll even buy anything on the platform so here's how it works so say you're in a you go to the courses and so yeah so let's talk about 
how do you tell others about something so if, and how do you make sure that they're tied to you right so if you say for example there's this active group users course you go on it and you're like oh this is a pretty cool course I want to send that to somebody and I want to make sure that I'm you know uh tied to them if they ever decide to buy anything right so this is a free course by the way so you can promote free courses right I can just add this to my library if I want and I can share this just by clicking the share button right here and this will give me a link as you can see it says cis469.clickycourse.com right instead of dub 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 and that is basically the course so you would just copy this like this by clicking the copy to clipboard or you can even do a Facebook post I can go in here and do a Facebook post and see let's actually do that uh I'm actually going to post that in a group right now because I'm actually the creator of active group users and I never really mentioned that this about this right did you know there's a free course to learn how to use this software there we go so I'm just gonna post that like this I just posted obviously I could post it in a group right um and but I'm just gonna post it to my newsfeed right and you know yeah you're not supposed to be posting things in your newsfeed with links and all this good stuff but that's this is just for testing to kind of show you how this works so now it's posting waiting for Facebook right it's posting it you can do the same thing with uh, LinkedIn or with Twitter and there you go so he's happy and this is all good there you go so it's all posted now if I was to go to Facebook I would be able to see that post that I just did I can do the same thing with Twitter right here I can just share this right on Twitter and if anybody clicks on that link they would I would you know obviously this account here is like a, a test account but the person that's promoting it that would post that link right see learn how to use active group users and then there you go and then the link is right here and if they click it they would automatically get the link now in this case the the Twitter thing is too long so let's just get some of this out of here I'll just do that there I'll just take that like that and then I can post it now so tweet there you go so now I posted this on Twitter right I close that you can do this on LinkedIn as well there's a LinkedIn thing or you just copy the link and send them send it to them in an email or send it to them in a in a uh, in a message right that's how you share now you can do that with any page so you could be for example on the about page you can even send them the about page by just if you're on the about page and you click on the share it'll give you the share link to the about page you see right here so it says about again your user is right here the 469 right that's my user it would be Bob or Frank or whatever your user name is right that's kind of how it works and it'll work with any of these uh, any of these things so you can even go to the more page and you want to say you want to tell them about the syndication there's a syndication link that you can share so you can share the syndication engine like this so if I go like this this is kind of what talks about the syndication engine what it does how to use it right I can share that I click on this and let's say I share to LinkedIn right I would click on that LinkedIn share thing and I I'm not sure if it did it work or let's click it again oh there you go I guess it just didn't load up or I didn't click properly but this will give me a share to LinkedIn with this URL as you can see it says cs469 slash syndicate right that's the actual link to the syndication engine page which is this page we're seeing underneath here and LinkedIn will just show that link and uh it'll have the icon that's on the page which might be better if it wasn't but uh sharing a post and you'll see that that image here and you can post whatever you can say whatever you want right so we'll just cancel that but you can do that with any page link and that this means that anybody who clicks on those links if they set up an account within within you know the next few months or next year or whatever they will be tied to you and they will be a referral of yours right so there'll be a referral of yours and if they ever buy anything you will automatically get that commission and that's kind of how that works and any of these um 
you know and and if you are if you upgrade your account as well you get more commission if you upgrade your account and all that good stuff all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.